Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand why you may be attracting unavailable men into your life, well, stick around, because I'll be demystifying the top four reasons in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm blessed and excited to be sharing with you four top reasons why you may be attracting unavailable uncommitted guys into your life. Uh, this is such a huge theme in women's lives. No matter what country I connect with, no matter what shape or size or age that woman is in, inevitably, at least once a day, I'll connect with someone who will share, hey, Bern, I keep connecting and attracting unavailable men. What's wrong with me? And I'm not here to say that there's anything wrong with you. You're not your behavior. I'm just here to share that there's things that are going on inside of you, and there's a way that you're taking action and the type of guy that you're connecting with for subconscious and conscious reasons that are giving you this painful result, which is a guy's not committing to you. The first one is gonna be very simple, but it's not the thing that most women think at the forefront when they say, well, I'm attracting unavailable guys. Well, here's the thing. If you have a deep fear of abandonment, if you have a fear of being left by someone who's amazing, then you will subconsciously create this mid-level mediocre relationships with a dude that you know if he were to leave you, well, he, he, if he leaves you, basically, he kind of left you already. He never was in it 100%. So by you connecting with a dude that was not ever 100% of this whole thing, then you get to, when he leaves finally, or when this doesn't work, not feel this devastating sense of loss, of falling off a cliff. It's painful, yes, but it's not devastating. So energetically, you're avoiding that big threat of somebody leaving you by connecting to this dude who was never in it to begin with. Second reason is, and it's so prevalent, and it breaks my heart to say this, but it's a low sense of worth. You know, because when you have a low sense of worth, when intellectually you may think you're awesome, but emotionally when you connect to a guy, you have these big fears to veer and off, and we all have this at some level, trust me. But when it's stronger, when it's bigger, this fear of I'm not enough, than it needs to be then the challenge is that you show up differently in a relationship. You set weaker boundaries. You, don't, uh, you allow the dude to get away with so much that he understands that he doesn't have to commit. He doesn't have to be 100% available because even if he plays it half-ass, he still gets you, right? So by you feeling less worried than you really are, and by setting weak boundaries, the dude says, I have the best of both worlds. I get this woman, I connect with her physically, emotionally, sexually even, and I don't have to commit. I don't have to show up strongly. And on your side, you're feeling, well, if I, if I were to set stronger boundaries, this dude would leave me, so I'm just I'm not gonna rock the boat. But inside, you start feeling after a while that you're dying. So that's the second reason why many women attract uncommitted guys, unavailable men, because they feel less worthy than they need to be, and as such, they they create weaker boundaries and train the dude that it's totally okay for him to be none available and she still gets to get them, okay? Number three is a low sense of passion and inner fire. And here's what I mean by that. When the passion, the inner fire, the hunger, the radiance, the light, the amazing magic that you have as a woman is lower. Let's say you have a dimmer, you know, and you can turn on the dimmer really brightly like these lights that I have here. If I go on these lights, see how bright this is? That's the dimmer of your light. But let's say that you lower it and it's at 50% of intensity. At that level of intensity, the guys that you want to connect with, it's fully strong, masculine, committed, conscious, amazing man, is not attracted to that mid-level light. He wants your full brightness because he, that guy, not every guy, but that guy is shining also at his brightest. So by you not having a life that's fully connected and allowing you to express that radiance, you keep the guys who are awesome uninterested. And that's one third reason why this doesn't happen. Fourth reason is because this, following the previous one, is a distraction from monotony, right? When you attract a guy who is not emotionally available, but you're not creating the conditions of your life to make it amazing, then what naturally happens is you say, well, at least I have something, I feel something. Even if it's drama, even if it's just some excitement, even if it's some every now and then sex, every now and then a kiss, every now and then holding hands, that's better than nothing at some level, right? At the low level, it's better than nothing. At a high level, you're missing out on the best thing that you can. So your subconscious mind is saying, well, why wait for that amazing guy? You have something here. It's like, just hold on to this for a while. So distraction from monotony, distraction from a life that is not fully connected to 
<laughs> amazingness is a fourth reason why why you connect or you allow an unavailable man into your life it's just a distraction and it allows you to meet certain needs that you're not meeting in your day-to-day -day life hope this is helpful insightful and useful in some way if it is i'm gonna ask you to do three things number one click like on this video number two subscribe to my channel number three on the description of this video or on your screen right here you'll see a button that shows up that allows you to sub uh, subscribe to a free webinar that I'm hosting that's going to be sharing with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Very powerful stuff and it's absolutely free. If you have any questions for me, please uh, leave a comment on this video or any of my other videos and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video to answer it just for you. Thank you. <laughs>